Hello guys, Genuine here of Genuine Gaming, and here are the adept abilities and talents of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader Beta. These are not the final abilities and talents of the adept, as it can still change during launch. Adept are characters who debuffs enemies. They use intelligence and perception to find and exploit different weaknesses in enemy defenses. They can focus on precise single attacks, defense penetration, area of effect debuffs, and content firing position. On level up, they may improve these characteristics, intelligence, perception, weapon skill, and ballistic skill. As for the skills, they may improve the following, awareness, medikai, tech use, logic, lore imperium, and lore xenos. I would suggest to raise your intelligence and perception around 40 points, then focus raising one of them depending on what skill you want to focus. Like if you want to make your study enemies more powerful, focus on raising your intelligence. And if you want to focus on debuffs, focus on perception. At first level, the adept receives study enemies. Study enemies allows the adept randomly distribute stacks of clue marks based on his intelligence bonus among enemies in a 4 square radius within a 10 cells range. Clues remain until the end of the combat and can add insight, which is a characteristic that increases damage against the studied enemies. If the adept hits a target with glue, it deals an additional damage, plus perception bonus, plus insight damage, removes one stack of glue and provides plus one insight to the adept until the end of combat. If the target dies from this attack while having clues, every clue gives plus one insight to the adept. It costs 2 AP. A fourth level, another keystone is unlocked. The adept receives his heroic act and disparate measure ability called dismantling attack. The dismantling attack immediately inflicts one stack of clue on all enemies in combat. The adept also receives a free attack against a target and it always hits. Then until the end of the combat, the target receives a negative 30% penalty to dodge and negative 30% penalty to armor. When dismantling attack is used as a disparate measure, all attacks of the Adept would cost 1 AP more at the end of combat. Here are the abilities that Adept can have. Expose Weakness Cost 1 AP The Adept removes one stack of glue from the target to decrease its dodge, parry, and armor by 10 plus 2 times the Adept Perception Bonus present for 1 round. This is so far for me the best ability of the Adept. If you combine it with another talent called Instant Expose, Expose Weakness would not cost any AP. Precise Attack Cost 1 AP For the next attack against the target with glue, that target's cover efficiency will be decreased by minus 10 plus 2 times the Adept's Perception Bonus plus Inside Present. This attack will have plus 5 plus the Adept's Perception Bonus Armor Penetration against targets under the Expose Weakness effect. All clues on this target will be triggered, but the adept doesn't gain insight for them. I would not suggest to use his ability, as the goal of the adept is to stack insight after insight so as to increase its damage and debuff capability. This ability does not allow you to do that. Joint Study Cost 1 AP Until the adept's next turn, their allies attacks also remove clues and thus deal additional damage plus adept's intelligence bonus damage. The adept doesn't gain insight from those attacks. This is a good ability if your adept has high intelligence points. Sniping Spot Cost 1 AP When in cover, the adept gains plus 25% cover efficiency, plus 15 perception, and plus 15 ballistic skill. This effect lasts until the adept moves. It doesn't stack. If you want your adept to be a sniper in your party, this is a must-have ability. Intimidation Cost 1 AP The next adept's non-area effect attack inflicts intimidated status to the first hit target and all enemies in a 5-cell range around that target. The intimidated enemy's damage is decreased by negative 2 times the adept's perception bonus present until the adept's next turn. This negates effect is doubled for enemies with less than 3 times the adept's intelligence bonus present armor. Tactical Knowledge Cost 1 AP The adept removes one stack of glue from each enemy in a 5-cell radius within a 10-cell range. 
If there is only one enemy in the selected area, the adept removes all clue stacks from the enemy. Then removed clues grant all allies plus two times clues removed present armor until the end of the combat. If there are four or more clues removed, the adept gains plus clues removed additional damage until the end of the combat. As for the adept's talents, here are the options. Pattern Recognition Every enemy with clue inflicts one stack of clue on one random enemy without clues in a 3 cell radius around them at the start of their turn. This is a good talent to have if you are planning to use your action points other than study enemies. Tide of Excellence When the adept triggers stacks of clues on enemies, the adept gains plus 1 damage and plus 2 present armor penetration for every triggered clue stack until the end of combat. Weak Body, Weak Soul Exposed Weakness also decreases enemies' toughness and willpower by minus 3 times Adept's Intelligence bonus for one round. I love this talent. I always equip my Adept with this talent. Fresh Target When the Adept attacks an enemy with 100% wound, that enemy suffers an additional plus 10 plus 2 times Adept's Perception bonus percent damage. Assisted Study Every ally inside the enemy's area of effect adds additional clue to the distribution. This is another adept talent that I love, as it is another way of increasing stack of clues to enemies. Instant Expose Expose weakness costs 0 AP. This is the best talent to have if you have the Expose weakness ability. Comprehensive Study If there is only one enemy in the area of effect of study enemies, they gain plus 2 stack of clue. Inflict Despair when the adept hits an enemy with both clue and exposed weakness, that enemy loses 3 MP and their damage is decreased by 20% on their next turn. Passive Learning In the first turn in combat, the adept randomly distributes the same amount of clues as when using study enemies among enemies in a 10 cells radius around the adept. At the beginning of all next adept's turn, they distribute twice less stack of clue among enemies in a 2 cell radius around them. This is another good way of distributing stack of clues without spending 2 action points. Offensive Prediction The attempt suffers negative 3 times intelligence bonus present less damage to enemies with clue. Reactive Study if an enemy with clue in a 5 cell range from the adept attacks the adept or their ally, that enemy gains additional stack of clue. Informed Hit If the adept uses precise attack on a target with more than or equal to 10 minus adept's intelligence bonus clues, this hit will be critical. Combat Insight When the adept has perception bonus equal or more than 10, they gain plus 1 AP and ignore enemies' damage deflection. Sharpshooter If the adept hasn't moved his turn, they gain an additional perception bonus on their ballistic skill and an additional half of intelligence bonus damage for every 5 cells distance between them and a target. This is a must-have talent if you are making your adept a sniper in your group. Offbeat Sight As you can see here, they have the same description with study enemies. I'm really not sure what offbeat sight talent is. Ballistic Calculations If the adept attacks a target with clue from the distance more or equal to 15 minus the adept's perception bonus cells, that attack deals plus 25% damage. Insightful Precision Precise attack adds perception equal to a third clue's removed but no less than one. Take maximum on spot Sniping Spot also grants the Adept an additional plus 5 plus Perception Bonus Present Armor Penetration against all enemies in a 7 or more cells range. Improved Tactics Tactical Knowledge requires 3 clues instead of 4. The Adept's damage is increased by his Intelligence Bonus. Joint Offense The Adept allies gain plus Adept's Intelligence Bonus Hit Chance and Critical Hit Chance while attacking target with clue. This is another adept talent that I love. Act of Terror If an attack with intimidation kills a target, all other enemies in the intimidation area of effect deal minus 4 times the adept's intelligence bonus percent less damage. Then we have Dismantling Attack Upgrade Upgrade 1 
Until the adept's next round, the target can't move and their MP is reduced by 3. Upgrade 2. The attack also cripples enemy attacks, reducing weapon skill and ballistic skill by 30 until the end of combat. This is a must-have upgrade for the dismantling attack. A penalty of 30 points is a massive amount. Upgrade 3. The attack also intimidates all enemies in a 5 square radius, reducing their dodge and armor by 15% until the end of combat. Again, this is a must-have upgrade as it would make your enemies easier to kill because their dodge ability is greatly reduced. Upgrade 4. The target also provokes attack of opportunity anytime it attacks. As you notice, there are a lot of adept talents that I love as they are so relevant in making enemies easier to hit. Adept is a great doctrine if you're able to level him properly. They are quite weak at lower levels as they are the only doctrine that has no capability of attacking twice in a round. After level 15, as of the beta, the adept can unlock assassin and hunter advanced doctrine. So those are the adept talents and abilities in Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader beta. These things are not yet final for launch, expect things to change. So for more updates of the game, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Ciao!